there are two tropical cyclones affecting Australia. Over here we've got Esther that has formed in the Gulf of Carpentaria but it's now making landfall and is weakening over land but bringing a ton of heavy rain and as you can see the circulation is quite large. And then over towards the west is Ferdinand and I'm not sure what that's doing so I have to take a look at that. This is the track for Esther and it is tropical storm strength currently over the Northern Territory and it looks like it's maintaining tropical storm strength as it moves across the Northern Territory probably bringing a ton of rain so I think I will take a look at the total rainfall forecast for this system. Smaller Ferdinand is forecast to become a hurricane strength system but it is um, staying out to sea and curving away and then dissipating in the JTWC forecast. Let's take a look at the GFS forecast. Here is Australia, and we've got our two storms, Esther and Ferdinand, over here. Now, it does look like Esther is turning into a bit of an interesting storm because it, it tracks westward across the Northern Territory, bringing heavy rain and not weakening a huge amount. It's uh, maintaining a decent tropical storm slash tropical depression strength uh, over land and then it reaches the coast in the GFS model and uh, menaces the coast for some time and even intensifies in this simulation as it moves back out into the ocean. So quite a interesting case. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the rainfall to totals across the Northern Territory. Here is the total accumulated rainfall for the forecast and as we move forward and the storm Esther moves across the Northern Territory, which is over here, You'll see it creating a large area of purple, which is 100 millimeters of rain total. And because it keeps moving, it's not bumping up into extraordinary rain, but heavy rain. Then as it approaches the west northwest coast, it uh, picks up a bit more and then it intensifies in this model. I will take a look at the ECMWF just quickly to see if this is in any way consistent. So this is the ECMWF. Yes, actually they are quite consistent with Esther here moving across the Northern Territory and approaching the Northwest Coast. And the timing is February 29th, uh, approaching the coast and then moving offshore again. So both GFS and the ECMWF consistent in taking the storm back out to sea and re-intensifying. That is quite interesting. A long way out and a lot of land passage to come between now and then so uh, I would expect high uncertainty on this one and of course Northwest Australia has already seen two tropical cyclones this year making landfall and uh, that has uh, flooded the lakes such as this one wrap this video up quick uh, this evening just by showing the dust storm that hit the Cary Islands. They actually, did they shut down the airport? I think they had to shut down the airport. But uh, this is um, this is Africa here and this is Northwest and Africa and you can just see some dust coming off the coast here and these are the Canary Islands. So this is actually February 21st and if we go forward look at that wow that is a lot of dust shooting off across the islands and I don't know the names of all the islands here but maybe we can get the place labels oh look at that that's great okay so you can actually see all the islands so look at the dust coming in so there was a while that it was over these two islands of Aracifertiventura but not over the other islands. They must have got some really amazing views. And that was the 22nd of February, and then moving forward, it spread it out, and then you can see it shooting off into the Atlantic and even spiraling in. Oh, wow, I really should load up the RAM-MB, but I'm too lazy, and I'm gonna leave it at that.